Hi guys, my name is Brandy and welcome to My Reseller Treasure, a channel that I've dedicated to my reselling journey. Yes, I am late. I've been trying to get this video up for a while and I've been having so many te technical difficulties. So here I am today to give you a Barbie reference video. Um, today I'm going to do books. I'm going to show you the books that I use, um, where you can find them, and how useful they are for me. So let's go ahead and get started. The first book we're going to start with is this one, Barbie Fashion. And as you can see, it does give you a year. It is a volume one. I do not have the volume two. All right. And that is 1959 to 1967. Now, this was one of the first Barbie books that I did get. And it is really great. It gives you all the uh, early year dolls and clothes. So, obviously, it starts with our top Barbie. Our first Barbie, not top. And then it gives you full color and description of all of the outfits. Let's go through a few pages here. As you can see, um, it describes them, what their name is, their number, and who they're for. Okay. So and that's that book. Okay, fashion, Barbie Fashions. The second book I have is Barbie Dolls and Collectibles. All right. Put that open. Now this one is a lot of black and white photos, but the nice thing about this is it gives you an exact order of um, the dolls when they came out, if there was any flaws, if there were any variations, because some outfits had different colors, or they had a slightly different, you know, um, fabric, or um, different things that were done to them, or, or, or mistakes. Uh, a lot of companies, uh, they make mistakes every now and again, and sometimes those become valuable. Uh, so, so yeah, that is nice. I'm not sure if you can see that. It does go in order right there. It talks about the date the doll was, <clears throat> excuse me, the doll was made, the clothes. It does have a little bit of color, but only a few pages. And again, back, back to mostly black and white. And again, let me see if I can find something that has a variation in it, because again, that's really... Um, what you'd like to see, different types of boxes that were made. And here we have an example of two tins of the same kind that were made. Can I? I'm sorry guys, I'm doing it on my phone. <laughs> so one obviously had longer hair than the other. So that's an example of two variations of the same doll. So they show you that a lot through here. Um, when that has happened or they come across collectors who have more than one um, doll or they'll show you dolls that have different hands so Christy down there I believe she has different hands are the differences between those four dolls but another good book Barbie dolls and collectibles now the next one is kind of like that Barbie dolls and collectibles it is uh, Barbie uh, the first 30 years. It's 1959 to 1989. Now this one is in color and um, it does is similar to the dolls and collectibles book, the blue book I just showed you. However, it does start with Bill the Lily, which um, many people are, they don't know much information about her, but this, this is where Barbie came from. She was the inspiration for Barbie. Okay, get some pages. So again, it looks much like the one I just showed you, but it's giving you all the color here actual products, actual boxes. So that's that's what's really nice because if you don't know the name of somebody and you need to see the box to see if it's a twist and turn or if it was a no bangs, this would be a great book for that. All right, lots of nice color. Let me sit back guys, I am just not even showing you. <laughs> and again, this one goes up to 1989, so uh, you'll probably see a lot more of these dolls than the previous and then the older ones and some are still worth lots of money i believe uh, in my opinion the 80s have kind of come back uh, i'm 41 <laughs> and we're coming into our own and this is kind of a collector stage age where you start um you've got your job your house your car your money um and you want to get your childhood memories back right so 80s are definitely 80s barbies are definitely coming back all right the next one is called the ultimate barbie book and actually this is what the cover looks like as you can see, I have the cover off. I don't want to ruin it. It's already, you know. And there's the hardcover. 
and you can see I've got it all tagged up. I've got so many tags here because <laughs> I'm always coming back to them. Books, 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 right? All right. Now th this one is really nice because it's dope. It, it starts at the first and it goes through each one subsequently, meaning it starts with Barbie and it's gonna start and it's gonna tell you the name when she came out and it's gonna go through each one as she came out in each year. And it's gonna keep going. As you can see. And then if you keep flipping, Barbie's got a lot. <laughs> You'll make it to the African American Barbie or Black Barbie. And they'll go through all of hers in, in order, in date order. All the one dolls that came out under this. And then they'll go to, I believe Spanish Barbie is next. Hispanic Barbie. And you've got Midge. So these are in order by doll, which is really nice when you just want to get right to the point. And it does all of them. Mia, Nikki, Christy, um, Skipper. All right. So, and it again it goes through all of them, even 10. So this is really nice when you just want to go right to the doll and just look and, and see what, what came out for that particular doll and find what it is that you hopefully find what it is you're looking for, right? All right, next. Now these books I just got about mm, a couple months ago, and man, they have been great. The first one is Barbie Closet. And I should say that um, a lot, uh, many of these books are actually done by makers uh, and uh, dress and doll designers that work for Mattel. And they actually made some of the dolls and dresses. So um, Patricia Long, she actually wrote this one. She did several of the early Barbie outfits. Um, I want to say Marcel Miel is another one. And there's a few. They actually have their name next to the outfits. And you'll, you'll see it's a Patricia Long collection. Um, so that's how I know. All right, anyway, this one is by Patricia Long. You can see that I actually bought this on Amazon and you can see they got it from a library. Ah, this is called Barbie's Closet. Full color, it is hardback. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Now this is another good one. This gives you lots of detail. This one does give you values. Um, but as we know, as resellers, values go up and down based off of customers, buyers, and pretty much what's um, what's out there, what, what people want, and how much of it they have available to them. So this does give you values, but you do kind of have to take that, I don't want to say with a grain of salt, maybe a little bit bigger of a grain, because I mean, they're, they're in the area, but you're still going to have to do your comps research. Um, again, giving you each item that goes with each outfit so that you know which ones are which items go with the outfits, the names of the outfits, the years, and the numbers. Same thing with the dolls. And it goes, uh, it goes, it starts in 1959 and, and proceeds to go up in years. I'll tell you how the sets came. We've got pack sets that came mix and match together. Sorry guys, my alarm's going off. So this one's a really good book. Got everything. So another good book when you want to get straight to the point. All right, Barbie's Closet by Patricia Long. Now, this one is probably all my favorite right now because the accessories. It's all about the accessories. And no lie, it is all about the accessories. There are accessories that are worth more than my accessories <laughs> for Barbie. So this is a great book, especially when you've got all those little things and you don't know if they belong to Barbie. You don't know if it belongs to Skipper. You don't know if it belongs to maybe Cindy and not even Barbie. But this is a great book for that. It goes through all the belts, purses, shoes, all that stuff. They start out with jewelry. They tell you what that, what that item is what outfits it, and what outfit it's for and they basically just go buy accessories sorry <laughs> so you've got earrings jewelry and you've got hats more hats <laughs> she's got a lot of hats 
I start to go into scarves. And then here you've got belts here. They're telling you what, what, where, which outfit the belts go to and how they're displayed on that outfit. More belts. And then you've got some littles here. Some little littles. Washcloths, toothbrush, talc, and some hair. So this one's really nice when you can't you have those things and you don't know which 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 outfit those shoes go or which uh, which is this Ken's tie or whose tie is this? Um, that's really that's what's so nice about that. There are all the shoes, which can become a little tedious, but there you go. And again, it's going to tell you what outfit it is for, whose it is, so you can go right to that outfit and find it. So really, really good, really, really good. I highly suggest this book, especially for um, new people uh, who have just started selling Barbie or collecting Barbie to find out what those accessories go to. All right, the next two books I have are exclusive books, um, basically meaning that certain companies and um, I guess stores made exclusive, exclusive store Mattel, like uh, Montgomery Wards, Sears, you know, JCPenney, those uh, Toys R Us, all those stores had their own um, outfit that was made specifically for their company through the brand. So, and that is very important to know because many of those outfits are worth quite a bit of money. Um, they get missed a lot because they look more, how should I say, they look more like, uh, to me, they look more modern. They look more 90s, late 90s modern dresses. And a lot of people will probably mistake, mistake these dresses and outfits for you know, the holiday Barbie gouds or those kind of things that weren't worth as much money. At any rate, here we go. We have Barbie doll exclusives. Remember that word, exclusives. <laughs> All right. So I, this one doesn't really have a year. It starts, I believe, in 1970. Let's get inside and take a look again. Look at all those tags I have. So let's get in here. All right. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what year this one starts out for you guys, if I can. It's 1981. 1970, 1973, looks like they start. <clears throat> now, this one does start off with a great Barbie doll head guide. Um, Barbie doll head guide, right? Yeah, there are different Barbie doll heads. And here you will see that if you happen to get this book. Um, there are kissing heads, there are steppy face heads, there are just different kinds. All right. And then it just goes into outfits and boxed items that were made. And what's nice is they give you exactly what it looks like, the, the year, what it's called, and they describe the outfit. Now, I did find a lot of my Sears exclusive outfits in this book. Um, I had been just flipping through this book every now and again, and I remembered an outfit that I had seen that I, uh, that I had just gotten at an estate sale. And because of this book is why I knew that it was a Sears exclusive. So I bought it. <laughs> I bought that bag of clothes for $15 and sold uh, two bags of clothes, $15 each, and sold two outfits, or $139 each, so this book is why. Um, let me see if I can flip to one of the exclusive sections for you guys. I know I was supposed to be ready, and I'm not. I've just been trying to get this whole YouTube video thing down and learning, and it's been a process with some issues, but we're here now. All right, here we go. Now here's an exclusive, these are series exclusives. And all of these outfits are worth probably, again, my guess is about 139 at this time. They sold for 95. This was one of the outfits I sold. It was incomplete, I believe it was missing the pants. And where's the other, and that's the other outfit I sold. Both of those 139 up to each, free shipping to the same customer. So, and all because of this book. All right, now I do have another one. It's pretty much the same. It just gives you different, uh, a different exclusive, more exclusives. It's Barbie doll exclusives. This is just the pink one. Um, let me see if we have a specific. They started in 1976 with the ballerina Barbie. So it does give you a few other types. 
So I'm not going to go through that one because you got the idea. So at any rate, those are the Barbie books that I use. Um, even if you just buy them and flip through them when you're researching or just bored, it really gets you acquainted with what's out there because again, those outfits I would never have known were worth that much money um, had I not been a, had I not flipped through that book before. Uh, all the books that I buy are either from eBay or Amazon or the thrift store. Um, you can find the books, you can find these books at all three of those places and you can find them at um, anywhere else really. You just gotta kinda do a little digging. Uh, I keep eBay searches out there um, so that when books pop up I can see if I have it or need it. Another tip is that Barbie books can be sought after and expensive. Some of them are very rare and um, if you go on eBay right now and Google Barbie books or Barbie reference, you, you should see a few pop up. Um, so be on the lookout for that too for reselling purposes uh, that book Barbie books are uh, very highly sought after. So I think that's it for now. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please like, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button. And I think that's, I think I finally got through a video that I can upload. <laughs> anyway, guys, again, my name is Brandy and thank you for watching my reseller treasure. Happy doll hunting. Bye.